Hello, welcome. We had taken a few, you know, uh, learnings on addition, subtractions, and multiplication. I think the multiplication we did did only till monomial with a binomial. Before proceeding to uh, learn um, multiplication of binomial with a binomial, we'll first take a few questions <coughs> based on addition, subtraction, and multiplication. And then I move on to the next topic. The first one I'll write here. I'll just be putting up the question here. It says subtract. I mean, these questions will involve, you know, subtraction, multiplication, addition, so on. And multi multiplication will be till binomial with a monomial. It says subtract 3pq in the bracket it is p minus q from 2pq and p plus so I'll write it accordingly our first expression will be Two P Q P plus Q minus three P Q P minus Q. Let us now remove the brackets. We learnt it in the previous session how we multiply and remove the bracket with monomial and a binomial. We'll multiply two P Q with P first, that will give me 2p q p squared q plus 2p q multiplied to q so it becomes 2p q square then minus 3p q with p so that gives me a minus 3p square q minus 3p plus q gives us plus 3p q square now we will collect the like times together like terms together so it is 2p square q minus 3p square q plus 2p q square plus 3p q square so this is minus p q p square q because 2 minus 3 is minus 1 plus 5pq square. This will be the answer. Let's move on to one more question. This is a simplification to be done. I'll write it first. It is 4st multiply to s minus t we'll remove this bracket later minus 6 s square with t minus t square minus 3 t square it is 2 s square minus s plus 2st and s minus t. Let us remove the bracket. The first one being 4st multiplied to s will give us 4s square t minus 4st into t. So it is 4st square minus 6 a square into t will be minus 6 a square t minus and this minus becomes plus 6 a square t square this is minus 6 a square t square minus t squared minus s multiplied gives us plus 3 s t square and the last one being plus 2 s square t minus 2 s t square if you see <coughs> sorry 
minus a squared mine this is plus a squared t square this is minus 6 a squared t square so they will get cancelled we are now left with we will be collecting the like terms together this is 4 a squared t this is minus 6 a squared t and here i have another a squared t so it is plus 2 s square t then i'll be taking up s t square minus 4 s t square here you have plus 3 s t square minus 2 s t square if you solve it say 4 minus 6 gives us minus 2 s square t so this is plus 2 a squared t uh, sorry and then you have another plus 2 as well so it would have actually made s t square s square t to be 0 though i didn't write it here if you see this is 4 minus 6 gives us minus 2 i can write another step though minus 2 and then here you have plus s square t as well and here I have minus 4 plus 3 that gives us a minus uh, st square minus 1 that makes so and here it is minus 2 so that will make us minus 3 st square so this and this will again get cancelled and we will be left with 3 minus 3 st square to be the answer for this expression so, now we will move on to multiplication of two binomials that will also you know include involve sorry um, removal of bracket by multiplying each term i'll write the first one here the first, sorry the topic let us see it is product of two binomials Three x plus two y with five x plus three y. First of all, each term will be multiplied. I said so. Three x will be multiplied to five x plus three y. And the second term will also get multiplied to this second whole binomial. So that is 5x plus 3. So this is giving 15x square. This will be 9xy plus this is 10xy. And this is 6y square. So I'm getting 15. See this part of brackets is about multiplying a monomial with a binomial. Plus this is 19xy plus 6y square. I can take one more example on the same uh, monomial, uh, sorry, binomial, binomial product. I write the next one here. Oh, sorry. It is 1 by 5x minus 1 by 4y multiplied to 5x square minus 4y square. So, the first term here is 1 by 5x which is to be multiplied to the whole binomial given that is 5x square minus 4y square. Minus 1 by 4y will also be multiplied to 5x square minus 4y square. So if I multiply 1 by 5x with 5x square, that's for removing monomial with the binomial. So it, it will cancel and I will be left with only x cube. 
secondly 1 by 5 multiplied to minus 4 y square so it will give me minus 4 by 5 x y square move on to this one 1 by 4 y multiplied to 5 y square that will give us minus 5 by 4 x square y and this again 1 by 4 y multiplied to minus 4 y square will be plus 4 4 will get cancelled with only be left with an y cube so your answer will be x cube minus 4 by 5 x y square minus 5 by 4 x square y plus y cube hope you followed this uh, these are very simple ones we can move on to few more application now next screen please now it says find the value this will in, include uh, uh, all the multiplications i mean the monomial with monomial with monomial binomial and binomial with binomial as well find the value of the following product it says hmm? the question is Four a square plus three b, and then it is four a square another three b. When a and value a and b's value is given, a is given to be one and b is given to be two. We had taken such example in the previous session when we were doing monomial with a monomial. It's always preferable to first solve this question and then you substitute. Or you can first substitute and also find the answer that's kind of okay. I'll then be doing it in the second way that I'll substitute it. So A will be substituted with 1 plus B will be substituted with 2. This is the first binomial. Secondly, 4a again will remain 1 square plus 3b will remain 2. This actually simplifies the way we do it. So, 4, 1 square is 1, so it multiplied to 4 gives us 4 plus 2 into 3 is 6. Here also we get the same thing, it's 4 plus 6, sorry, 6. So that's giving us 10 in the first bracket and 10 in the second one as well. That brings 100 as our answer. We now take on another simplification of expressions given. Also, you, may, you might come across questions when you are asked to multiply a trinomial with a binomial. That also one I'll take. But this question says simply simplify. So, it is 2x plus 5 multiplied to 3x minus 2 plus x plus 2 and 2x minus 3 now as we did in the previous question we will completely expand it like 2x will be first multiplied to the second binomial then 5 will also get multiplied to it this is first part you simply can put a bracket, a second or the third bracket here, just for your convenience because if had this been a subtraction symbol would have made a difference with the bracket. So make it a habit to yourself. x will be multiplied to 2x minus 3 and the second term of the first binomial that is 2 will also get multiplied to the second binomial. Now we'll simply be doing 2x with 3x. I mean you can either expand or you can directly write the answer at this step. So 2x multiplied to 3x gives us 6x square and 2x multiplied to minus 2 will give us minus 4x. 
plus 5 and 3x gives us minus 15x and 5 and minus 2 gives us minus 10. I have already removed the bracket at this state because we don't need it anymore. x multiplied to 2x gives us 2x square and x multiplied to minus 3 will give us, give us a minus 3x plus 2 with 2x will give us a 4x 2 with minus 3 will give us 6. Now I task it to collect the like terms. Here it is 6x six squared and 2x squared. I'll write them together. 6x six squared plus 2x squared. Now there are a few of these um, x here, x here and this. There are four of them. See there is a minus 4x and a plus 4x that cancels by itself. So I'm left with a 15x with a minus 3x and then this minus 10 and minus 6 as well right i used a different color just to you know make it separate from x square so 6x square plus 2x square kind of giving us 8x square right plus 15x minus 3x give, will give us plus 15 minus 3 is 12x minus 10 and minus 6 is minus 16 so we are done with this expression multiplying and even adding them in the next session we will be taking up one with a multiplying a trinomial with a binomial in all of them actually expanding remains same each term will be multiplied to the whole binomial and then we move on with some uh, finding or applications of the identity thank you